The care provided during the early postnatal period is very important for the smooth transition to parenthood. If you have had a home birth, the midwives will stay with you for at least two hours after the birth until they are confident that the baby has fed and you are comfortable to be left with your new family. If you have had your baby in hospital, the length of stay will usually be 6 to 24 hours following a normal vaginal delivery and 48 hours following a caesarean section. This will depend on several factors such as whether the baby is feeding well and your own recovery. A community midwife will see you the day after your discharged home, either in your home or in a drop-in clinic. Please ensure that you give the hospital staff the correct address that you will be going home to. Information regarding the weekend drop-in clinic and contact numbers for the community midwife office along with other useful information will be given to you in your discharge pack when you leave the unit. On your first postnatal visit, a full examination will be carried out on yourself and the baby. You will have already received these checks whilst in the hospital. A midwife will ask about your general health, how you're feeling, what help you have at home and advise on rest, diet and postnatal exercises. Physical checks will be made of your breasts. Whether you're breastfeeding or formula feeding, your breasts will become full and possibly uncomfortable a few days after the baby is born. You should look out for red patches or feeling achy and shivery. These can be signs of mastitis. If you're breastfeeding, the midwife will carry out an assessment of feeding using a questionnaire and will be able to assist you with positioning and attachment issues. The midwife will palpate or feel your uterus to assess how quickly it is returning to normal size after your pregnancy. If the uterus is slow to involute or shrink, that can be a sign that some blood or tissue may still be inside, which can cause an infection. Signs to look for are increasing pain, offensive smelling blood loss, developing a temperature or passing clots. If any of these symptoms develop, please seek medical advice. If you've had stitches, these should always be examined as you may not be aware if they're not healing properly. You will be asked about your blood loss, which normally will continue for between two to four weeks following a vaginal delivery and up to six weeks following a caesarean section. The midwife will ask whether you are passing urine normally with no pain and whether you are having your bowels open. This usually takes around three days after giving birth and if you need a laxative to help you, the midwife can arrange this. You will be asked to look for any pain or swelling in your legs, which could alert us to signs of the development of thrombosis or blood clot. The baby will be examined for rashes. It is not unusual for the baby's skin to become a little blotchy and the skin will become quite dry after a few days. This is a normal process and we advise using just water in the care of baby's skin for the first month of life. It is not unusual for a baby to develop jaundice. The skin and whites of the eyes will look yellow. If this happens, the midwife can use a handheld monitor, which uses a light to measure the level of jaundice and will tell us which babies need to return to the hospital for a blood test. If the blood test shows that the jaundice level is high, then the baby will need phototherapy treatment with ultraviolet light. Frequent feeding taking place at least every three hours in the first few days is the best way to minimise jaundice. The baby's mouth will be examined for signs of tongue tie or thrush. Approximately one in ten babies have a tongue tie, but it may not cause any feeding problems. You will be referred to the infant feeding team if it is significant enough to be causing a problem. The midwife will check the baby's umbilical cord to make sure that the clamp is secure and that there are no signs of infection. The cord will usually separate around 8 to 10 days after the birth. Signs that the baby is feeding well are frequent wet nappies and stools that change from black tarry meconium in the first day to brown and then yellow much more runny consistency from day 3. You will also be seen on day five following the birth when, as well as carrying out the checks previously described, 
and removing stitches if you've had a caesarean section. A midwife or maternity support worker will also weigh the baby and perform the newborn blood spot test. Most babies will lose weight in the first few days after birth. We will check that weight loss is within normal limits. Most babies are back to their birth weight by 10 days of age. The newborn blood spot test is described in the leaflet screening tests for you and your baby, which your midwife will have given you at your first antenatal booking visit. Blood is taken from the baby's heel, put onto an absorbent card, which is sent to a laboratory and the blood tested for nine different conditions, including cystic fibrosis, sickle cell disease, thyroid gland function, phenylketonuria, and five other metabolic disorders. The results of this test are sent to your health visitor, who will write the results into your baby's red book. If you've chosen for your baby to receive vitamin K via the three oral doses, rather than the single injection, then you will also receive a visit on day seven for the midwife to administer the second dose. Vitamin K plays an important part in making our blood clot. All babies are born with low levels of vitamin K and about one in 10,000 babies will have a vitamin K deficiency. For this reason, doctors recommend that all babies receive vitamin K after birth. The most effective and efficient way of administering the vitamin K is by giving one injection soon after birth. Some parents, however, choose to have the vitamin K given orally, but this is less effective and therefore the baby will need three doses, at birth, at seven days, and at 28 days. You should be given the extra doses to bring home with you from the maternity unit. You will also receive a visit when the baby is 10 days old and if all checks are satisfactory then, your care will be handed over to the health visitor. Extra checks can be arranged between these routine visits if you are experiencing difficulties feeding or any complications. 